By now, you've likely seen the video of what appears to show officers letting rioters into the Capitol last week. Or maybe you've seen a photo of what looks like a Capitol Police officer posing for a selfie during the chaos. All of it is being investigated. It may be the collision of policing and politics, but Ronald Surpass, who was once head of New Orleans Police and Tennessee State Police, says officers can never mix the two on the job. If people are protesting in an event that you sympathize with their politics, that's meaningless to you. If they're protesting something that you don't sympathize with their politics, that's equally as meaningless to you. The only thing that matters to the police is that you protect life, property, in that order. Regardless of your politics, it's hard to deny the amount of scrutiny police have been under these past few years, from calls to defund the police, but also to back the blue. So a lot of things we're seeing are competition between these different voices, and the cops have a very difficult time figuring that out. LSU criminologist Peter Scharf says police have to be very careful in how they exercise their right to free speech, especially on social media, where positions are polarized and move virally. Scharf says, in theory, police are supposed to be neutral, but reality may dictate something else. Do you really want police to be apolitical? We like it when they're political in the direction we like. We're less sympathetic when they're on the other side. Law enforcement has long leaned conservative. The Fraternal Order of Police endorsed President Trump in the recent election. Surpass says such endorsements by labor unions can complicate an already polarized situation. They all participate in the political process. And by doing so, sometimes they will state positions publicly that confuse their members or confuse other people. But it's the process that's allowed for, for them. Whether politics should be allowed in policing is debatable. What's not in question is the fact that many Capitol Police officers last week fulfilled their oath to protect lives, a standard that should get unanimous support. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News.